Welcome to BISP Solutions. I am Anjali. In today's video, we'll see how to calculate the cost of a project in Project Financial Planning module of an EPBCS application. So I have taken the cash flows for three years since my project will be running for three years. In year one, I have 4,20,000. In year two, I have 2,20,000. In year three, I have 1,20,000 and the total comes to 7,60,000. For expenses, I have selected, since we are doing driver-based planning, I have selected labor and in this, I have selected three jobs. One is of de designer, another one is of developer and the third one is quality assurance testing. And for this, I am giving two FTE for designer, two FTE for developer and one FTE for quality assurance testing. And the rates which we are going to give in our application, uh, the labor rate are 20, 15, and 35. And this is the amount which we'll arrive at in the application. We'll validate the figures, how the, this uh, amount is arrived at. So let's go to the application. Go to project, click on project summary. In project details, we need to add a project year. In my previous videos, I have already told that uh, how to add a project. So I've added a project here by the name FCCS. Start date is 1st of January 22 and the end date is 31st of December 24. And these are the other details. From here, we can also set the project priority and the ranking. All right, so since I have not given anything, let's move ahead. Go to expense tab. All right, so first we need to give the rates so that the application can calculate the labor expenses. So when we go to assumptions tab, under standard rates for labor, I have given for designer 20, De developer 15 and the quality assurance testing 35 in all the three years fy 22 23 and 24 and i have saved this information from here next step is going to the driver based planning select the correct project this is my contract project under this it is a fixed price project. Select FCCS, your project. Click on OK. So as we can see here, I've already added the assumptions here. For phase assumptions, I have given for I need designer two. So I have given here two phase assumptions, two job assumptions for this. Similarly, for delivery and for quality and I have also selected the employee resource type from here we have various options available for employee resource so select it from here give the start date and give the end date provide the FTE and the assignment location and the next save this information from here and when we will come on this column, just right click and then calculate expenses. So when I'll calculate the expenses, as we can see here, the amount for FY 22, 4220. And for FY 23, the same amount and FY 22, 24, the same amount. So how these amounts are being calculated, I'll just show you that. So, in this Excel sheet, let's calculate this amount for one FT first. In assumptions tab, in working days and hours, this is the information which we have hours per day, eight hours per week, 40 and working days per month, eight. So let's calculate the amount. So this is the rate 20, which gets multiplied by number of month, uh, sorry, the number of days in a month, 22, multiplied by number of months in a year, 
which is 12 multiplied by 8 because 8 is the working hours per day. So when we'll do this and do this calculation, it will come to 42240. So as we can see in our application, we'll go to driver based, select the project, go to contract project, fixed price project, select your correct project, click on OK. And as we can see here, the amount for the designer in line one is 4220, which gets validated here. So this is the figure. And this, since we are having two FT, so this figure multiplied by two, which comes to 84480. All right. Next is for developer, rate is 15. Number of days in a month, 22. Number of months in a year, 12 multiplied by eight hours per day which comes to 31680 so we'll validate this figure so as we can see here the application is also calculating the same amount for all the three years so this gets validated now comes quality assurance testing and for this for uh, since i am having two ft here so multiplied by two so for quality assurance testing the rate is 35 multiplied by 22 number of months, a number of days multiplied by number of months multiplied by hours per day, which comes to 73920. So let's check. So we can see here 73920 is the amount. So this amount gets also validated. Now we need to check whether the benefit from the project is this. So this will come at 94720 how because our labor expenses that means the total investment is 665280 which is the sum total of the sum total of these three labor expenses comes to 221760 so this is for financial year 1 and then this amount since we uh, we have the project for 3 years so this amount 221760 multiply because we have the same amount in financial year 22 23 and 24 so this same amount multiplied by 3 so it come it will come to 665280 all right so this is the total amount of investment and 760000 is the total amount of cash inflows so 760000 minus the amount of investment of labor expenses so it comes to 94720 so let's check in our application whether this amount gets validated or not so we'll go to analysis tab and as we can see here the project cash flow is the net amount is positive 94720 so this amount is getting validated this is the project profitability in which we can see the same amount of the project this is the project inflow this is the project profitability all right in project summary under project uh, contract project overview we can see here the amount of total investment the return on investments the benefit cost ratio npv and payback period so I have done the calculation here for benefit cost ratio. So the formula for benefit uh, cost ratio I've already discussed in my previous videos. You can refer that. So this is the present value of inflows divided by the present value of outflows. So I have calculated the present value since the discounting rate is 5%. I have chosen this. And uh, I, since I have taken only four digits after zero after decimal, so the amount is coming to of the uh, benefit cost ratio 1.16 in application it is coming to 1.14 maybe because of the decimal impact so this is the amount which we are getting the minute difference of uh, 0.02 is coming this is the return on investment formula uh, i've already uh, showed this amount this calculation in my previous videos so this is how we calculate the cost of the project. 
So that's all for today. Thank you and have a great day.